Hi guys, uh, Nashat here and today I will be giving you guys a brief introduction on laboratory analysis before moving into the demonstrations. So, to start with we are looking for blood analysis. Uh, the main part is the complete blood count. This is the blood test used to evaluate your overall health and detect a wide range of disorders including anemia, infection and leukemia. The CBC measure several components of the blood such as the RBCs, WBCs, hemoglobin, hematocrit and platelets. Uh, abnormal increase or decrease in cell count is uh, as revealed in the complete blood count may indicate that you have underlying medical condition that uh, calls for further evaluation. Here's a sample that uh, you can see there's a standard range and a sample of your value. So the RBC, hemoglobin and hematric uh, this uh, the result of these things are related because they each measure the aspect of the RBC. Uh, if the measure in these three areas are lower than normal, uh, it's considered that you have anemia and anemia causes fatigue and weaknesses. And uh, if the RBC count is higher than normal, uh, this is the erythrocytosis or high hemoglobin or hematocrit level. Uh, this could point to underlying medical conditions such as uh, polycythemia vera or heart diseases. Uh, with uh, WBC, the low WBC count, this is the leukopenia and this may be caused by a medical condition such as the autoimmune disorders uh, that destroys the white blood cells. And if you have a higher than normal, uh, you may have an infection or an inflammation. And in case of the platelet count, uh, if it is lower, uh, this is called the thrombocytopenia or if it is higher, then this is the thrombocytosis. Uh, moving to urine analysis. Uh, this is the test of your urine. Uh, urine analysis this is used to detect and manage a wide range of disorders such as the urinary tract infection, kidney diseases and diabetes. Uh, urine analysis involves the checking of the appearance of uh, concentration and content of urine. The abnormal urine analysis result may point to a disease or illness. For example, a uh, UTI can make urine look cloudy instead of clear. Increased level of protein in urine can be a sign of kidney disease. And usual urine analysis result often require more testing to uncover the source of a problem. And here's a sample how the form might look like. So uh, how we carry this uh, urine analysis is that first we do the visual examination. The lab technician examines the urine appearance. Uh, typically the urine is clear and cloudiness or an unusual odor may indicate that there is a problem. And blood in the urine may take it. Uh, it may look like a red or brown in color. And this can also be influenced by things you eat. For example, if you eat like uh, beets. And then we do the dip, dipstick test. And here we can see that our dipstick test uh, it shows the acidity, the concentration, protein, sugar, ketones, bilirubin, and those stuffs. And moving to the last part of the exam, uh, this is the microscopic exam. Uh, here we are looking for the WBC, RBC, uh, bacteria or yeast, and crystals. Uh, if uh, WBC is present in high this is the sign of uh, an infection and if RBC is high this may be a sign of kidney disease or blood disorder or anything underlying another underlying medical condition such as the bladder cancer. The next one is the x-ray diagnosis. Uh, X-rays are images that use small doses of ionized radiation to take picture of the inside of the body and this is called the radiographs and it can be used to diagnose things like uh, broken bones, dislocated shoulders, arthritis, cancer and tooth decay. Uh, the specific x-ray procedures include the CT scan, fluoroscopy, mammography and etc. Ultrasound. Uh, there are two main categories of ultrasound, uh, pregnancy ultrasound and uh, diagnostic ultrasound. The pregnancy ultrasound this is used to confirm the pregnancy and to look at uh, an unborn baby. The test can provide information about a baby's growth, development and overall health. 
Diagnostic ultrasound, this is used to view and provide information about other internal parts of the body. Uh, these include the heart, blood vessels, liver, bladder, kidney, and female reproductive organs. Endoscopy. Endoscopy allows the doctor to visualize exam, uh, examine an organ without having to make a large incision. A screen in the operating room lets the doctor see exactly what the endoscope sees. Uh, this is typically used to remove sample of tissues. See inside the body during a surgical procedure such as repairing a stomach ulcer or removing gold stones or tumors. Also helps to determine the cause of any abnormal symptoms the patient might be having. That's all for me. Thank you.